Ken Patera, strongman, has a match uh, scheduled against Jerry the King Lawler. In case you don't know Ken Patera, he's a former uh, Olympian. He was in the Olympics in Munich. Also was in the World's Strongest Man uh, competition. We have some highlights of that, which we're going to show you right now. The World's Strongest Men competition. Now meet our supermen. John Cole, powerlift record holder. Franco Colombo, bodybuilder, former Mr. Universe. Mike Dayton, Kung Fu Master, 1976 Mr. America. Lou Ferrigno, one-time Mr. International. George Flynn, six times U.S. Hammer Throw Champion. Ken Patera, professional wrestler. Bruce Wilhelm, 1976 U.S. Olympic weightlifter. And Bob Young, offensive guard, St. Louis Cardinals. Our first event is the barrel lift. What's the key to lifting barrels? Well, it's a very, very difficult thing. The athletes are going to have to bring the barrel from the ground to the chest. We call it clean it. Then overhead. Now, that sounds easy. But the barrel is filled with lead, shot, and liquid. <laughs> and this is going to be slashing around all the time. Kenny Patera is up. He's 6'1", weighs 286 pounds. Put it up on its end. A different style. Cleans it to his chest. He told me before we started that he's got a very painful back. Hold it. Got it up easily, though, didn't he? Well, I think you can see that pain etched across his face. The wrist roll is our next competition. The weight, 100 pounds. The apparatus, another 10 pounds. 10 feet to the top. Paul Anderson, what will it take to win this? A great deal of hand strength, forearm strength. Not only a wrist roll, but a reverse wrist roll, which is going to really be uh, a test, not only strength, but endurance. Here's Lou Ferrigno. John Cole, also in this heat. Kenny Patera. Bob Young and all four wearing gloves. Our director of events, Hal Conley, starts them on their way. Ken Patera takes a quick lead. Lou Ferrigno is in second. John Cole and Bob Young are trailing. Patera now opening up that lead. Ferrigno, remember, the first two will qualify for the finals. Patera battling now to lift that weight up to that 10-foot mark. 110 pounds he is trying to wrist roll. Two feet to go for Patera. Luferigno struggling to get in. John Cole and Bob Young appear to be out of it. Here's Patera, his winning time, 36.6. Lou Ferrigno is second, 39.9 is his time, and he'll go to the final round. The wheelbarrow race is next. Each of our strongmen must push 750 pounds up this nine-degree incline with the finish line 100 feet away where our judges are standing up there. Uh, Commissioner of Power Paul Anderson, this is about to test everything that a man's got. The entire body, grip first, arms, legs, back, something like this. The athletes will pick the wheelbarrow up, lean into it, go forward like this, and move out, and... Uh, that's that's good. Well, that's a good demonstration. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, finish the course. Here are the four men in the final. Bruce Wilhelm. Next to him, Franco Colombo, who was a co-leader when we began the day. John Cole is in lane three. He won the first heat. And Ken Patera in lane four. Can anyone beat Wilhelm? He turned in a 12.3 time in that first heat. Patera off well. Here's Wilhelm. Patera and Cole dueling, but Wilhelm again explodes. But so close for second, and Patera comes across. Our next event, the 35-pound tire toss. Shooting for that 41 feet, two and a half inches. Kenny Patero with a chance. You did get it out there, big guy. Get it out! <laughs> All right. Our winner, Kenny Patero. The car lift. Our next event. Our straw men will start with a car that weighs 1,852 pounds. 
and they're built all the way up to a car that weighs better than 2,000 pounds. Commissioner of Power, Paul Anderson, brute strength here. Brute strength here. This is much like a deadlift in powerlifting contest, so it will be definitely a brute strength. The uh, athlete will uh, grasp the bumper. Of course, he will be standing on pedestals that will raise everyone equal to whether they can get a lift. And just so they pull it up, break it from the platform, and then it is called a lift if you can see under it. Total weight of the car is 2,384 pounds. Ken Patera on the left and Bruce Wilhelm on the right. Ready. Both of these men have competed for the United States at the Olympic Games as our heavyweight weightlifters. Officials John Terpak, Bob Heiss, Tommy Kono, Russell Nip, they will raise high the white flag signaling a good lift. Ken Patera has advanced. Ken Patera will race alone in the refrigerator race. Patera being strapped in. The time he has to beat, 17.4. In all of these heats, it's a race against the clock. Patera does not have to beat Dayton's time to qualify for the finals, but he must hold off the challenges of Colombo and Cole. He's competing with that bad back, and he must show at least a good solid time. And a courageous showing considering that injury. And how about Kenny Patera's performance throughout the 10 events? He came in here with a back that he injured as a professional wrestler, and he still hasn't quit. Now let's see how he does against Lou Ferrigno. Couldn't get traction against Wilhelm. Having trouble here, but now he is coming back. And it is Ferrigno who can't dig in. Patera yanking mightily trying to capture third. And he's got it. Kenny Patera, world's strongest man. All right, highlights of the world's strongest man competition. Thanks to CBS Sports for the highlights. Ken Patera in action in a wrestling match. And we have some of that for you. Here it is. One half of the Black and Blue Express, managed by Bobby the Brain Heenan, out of Portland, Oregon. 270 pounds, one of the strongest men in the world. Here is Ken Patera. Patera. It is one fall. Kenny J is your referee to ringside and Roger Kent. Well, the referee, uh, re the referee is giving, uh, trying to give some instructions. Uh, the, the people in the audience are. Uh, Heenan just hollered at me. I think he said something about be sure to say some nice things about the Heenan family. I don't know anything nice to say about him. Uh, uh, and there isn't, except uh, Bobby Heenan, whether you like him or not, was named manager of the year four years in a row. And whether you like him or not, Ken Patera won the bronze medal in 72 for weightlifting at the uh, Olympics in uh, Munich. Big Bad Bob Duncan, another member of the um, Black and Blue Express. Outstanding defensive uh, tackle in the NFL for the St. Louis Cardinals. But look at this, Milliman, no! Oh, he nailed Milliman. Milliman going for the rope. He runs into a solid brick wall, like a yellow brick road. Look out, Mr. Milliman is going to fly. And he did not like his five-point landing. They made a bird out of Milliman, or at least Patera did. And of course, the other member of the Bachwinkle, or the Eden family box, down to two. That's impressive in a very negative way. Ah, Patera just says he's going to need a chiropractor after he gets through uh, twisting on. And it looks to me like uh, Patera is taking his own sweet time with him and uh, just toying with him. But Milliman is tough. That son of a gun. Oh! Look, he gets right up. I think it's been smart to stay down there for a while. We'll take him up in the air and put him back down again. 
And a cover by Patera, and he goes. Patera hollers at the referee, not yet, not yet. Look out, here comes a suplex. Straight up high, all the way over. The strength of Ken Patera coming to the floor again in the count of three. And another match goes to Ken Patera, the youngest and newest member of the Keenan family, right here on All Star Wrestling. Boy, just sheer power from the big guy, Ken Patera. Ken Patera in here uh, to go against Jerry Lawler as he tries to get the international title and the bounty put up by Andy Kaufman. Patera had some comments. Here they are. Fans, no secret that the comedian Andy Kaufman was quick to place a bounty on the head of King Jerry Lawler. The amount, I believe, talked about and talked about quite openly $5,000 for what Kaufman received at the hands of Lawler and that pile driver. And a man who was out to collect that bounty is none other than the strongman Ken Patera. He contends he is rest, uh, wrestling, professional wrestling, strongest man. Patera, a graduate of Brigham Young University out in Provo, Utah, also represented the United States in the 1972 Olympic Games in Munich, Germany. I was part of the contingent that was in Munich back in 1972, and Ken Patera, needless to say, you represented your country well. As far as representing yourself against Jerry Lawler, I'm certain it's going to be a battle to the end. That's right. You know, Jerry Lawler, you're a tough man when you're competing against those that are smaller than yourself, such as Jer uh, Andy Kaufman. He's a comedian. A performer, an actor. He's not a professional wrestler. He's not even come close to even being an athlete. And you and your infamous pile driver inundated him and put, put him in the hospital. Now, he didn't have any other recourse but to come back at you through another person. And Andy Kaufman, I have to thank you again for selecting me. $5,000 on top of that. And Jerry Lawler, you beat a very impressive athlete when you beat Austin Idol for the international title. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Jerry Lawler. You're looking at a man standing before you that is superior, not only in intelligence, but in athletic ability and in meanness and in toughness. And that's what it's all about, professional wrestling at its best. You call yourself the king? Well, I'm going to dethrone you, Jerry Lawler, once and for all. I'm going to take that international belt away from you in a very desirable fashion. And that's going to be with a swinging neck breaker, which is ten times more deadly explain than your that. pile driver. Ken Patera, explain, if you will, that swinging neck breaker. It's actually a full Nelson. But with my strength and agility, I can pick a man up off his feet and swing him in a fashion that puts all the pressure on the vertebrae. And when you start to cough and you start to choke and quiver, and then you pass out, Jerry Lawler, and then... The end result is that you wind up in a hospital bed in a neck brace, just like Andy Kaufman happened to wind up. Well. So just think about it, Jerry Lawler. Ken Patera is on a mission, and it's not an impossible mission, boy. I'm going to put you in the hospital. I'm going to collect the $5,000 bounty, and I'm going to take the international title and take it out of Memphis because it isn't treated properly there. All right, I thank you very much. <laughs> Take this a look at a body. Ken Patera ruminating on the possibility of a $5,000 bounty that he may collect via Andy Kaufman if, in fact, he can defeat King Jerry Lawler. And I know fans everywhere are looking forward to seeing the big, powerful man who represented this country in Munich, Germany in the 1972 Olympic Games, Ken Patera out of Portland, Oregon. All right, we'll be looking for Ken Patera in the area. The match has been signed against Jerry Lawler. I don't know if Patera is coming in mostly for the international title or mostly for the $5,000, but certainly both of them uh, together uh, did bring him in here. The man who put the $5,000 bounty up was none other than Andy Kaufman. I think you're familiar with the history of the uh, Andy Kaufman-Jerry uh, Lawler uh, battle. Uh, Kaufman had some comments, too. Let's see what Andy had to say. 
I've just been talking to Ken Patera, and I am very happy. You know, I'm offering Ken Patera a large sum of money if he could not only beat you in a wrestling match, but hurt you. Hurt you like the way you did me last year. And he's going to send you into the hospital, my friend, Mr. Lawler. You know, Ken Patera's arms, they must be about this big. Okay? He's a very strong, strong man, Mr. Lawler. Just like you're twice my size, he's about twice your size. He's won the strongest man in the world competition. A competition which is shown on network TV every year. He actually won that event, that competition. Ken Patera has never lost a match, at least to the best of my knowledge. Ken Patera is going to beat you, Jerry Lawler. Ken Patera, world's strongest wrestler in a match against the king, Jerry Lawler, with a $5,000 bounty on the line. Hey, coming up right here in just a moment, we're going to have the Rock and Roll Express. Stay with us.